Hello, welcome to Bossy Threads, the home of happy stitching. In this video, we're going to look at silken and woolen long stitch. Maybe you fancy a change from counted cross stitch, which is worked on Ada following a chart. If so, our long stitch kits might be just what you're looking for, because here the outlines are printed on the canvas. If you want to stick to using stranded cotton, we have this lovely range of silken long stitch kits and these are worked on a size 22 canvas. Or, slightly easier on the eye, we have our woolen long stitch which are worked on a 14 count canvas with slightly larger holes for the wool. First of all, let's take a look at one of the woolen long stitch designs. This one is called Winter Evening and it was developed by Derwent Water Designs. In the kit, you have everything needed to stitch your picture. The wools are arranged mainly on a thread card here, but when a large amount is called for, that will be provided as a skein. There are also some metallic threads in here and a needle. Your instructions and stitch diagram are included on this one large chart. To determine which colour to use, these are sorted alphabetically. So for example, if we take colour O, this represents heather and can be found at the end of your thread card. We recommend you stitch the more detailed areas first. So we are going to start with the tree, which is stitched in colour C, which is very dark grey. If we look on our thread card, we'll see the hole for C is empty, but don't panic. This is because it is provided as a skein. If you would rather, you can chop this skein up into lengths and then thread them through this empty hole on your thread card. As we said, the design outline has been printed on the canvas. This is a size 14 canvas ready for our wools. It's a good idea to use a frame when working the long stitch kits and this is a scroll or roller frame with bands running across the bottom and top. I've already attached it to the bottom rollers and I'm just finishing off the top here. Just use a strong thread, tie a big knot in the end and make large running stitches along. Then you just tie a knot on the back and you're ready to get working. We're going to start work in this central detailed area here. So, roll our canvas into position, get it nice and taut, and tighten up the wing nuts. We recommend that you use the wool in the length it's provided. Tie a knot in one end, and to secure it, what you're actually going to do is come down from the front to the back and leave that knot in position. Now the tree is all worked in the very dark grey colour, but it's divided up into smaller area so the stitches don't get too long. As you work your stitches, you come up from the back and go back down. Very importantly, you must keep it in the same line of holes and you make a long stitch on the back too. Make sure you come up in an adjacent line of holes and so you're always working in a circular motion. It's important to have a nice even tension and not pull the wool so tightly that it would distort the canvas holes. You can see that as you're working, you're working towards the knot and eventually, when you've done enough stitching and reached the knot, you can then chop it off. Here you can see me, at speed, filling in the rest of this area. I'd probably go on to work the rest of the tree in this colour, but for the purpose of the video, we'll change over and use some of the heather wool. So I finish off by running through the wool on the back of the design and take a length of the heather wool. 
tie a knot in the end and start off in the same way, coming through from the front to the back. Now I'm going to work down into the area that I've already worked. As you can see from the insert, it's very important that where the two colours meet, you use exactly the same hole for the two wools. It's also preferable to work into a previously worked area. This avoids dragging fibres from one colour into the other. This might mean that you have to change the direction of your circular movement as you stitch. Now we've reached our knots, so we can chop them off now and continue working with the heather wool. This silken long stitch design is worked on a finer 22 count canvas. As it is a smaller design, I've decided not to use a frame, but I have bound the edges in masking tape, as these can be quite rough and could cause threads to snag. We find it works best using four strands of cotton. This also allows us to use blends where two strands of one colour are worked with two strands of another colour. This has been used on the sun, in some of the sky and often on the rocks. To start with, I pull out four individual strands of cotton from my six stranded cut length. I then recombine them and thread all four through my needle. This might seem a tedious process, but it ensures your thread lies smoothly and gives good coverage. Start your stitching by running through a few stitches on the back. In this design, we're going to use horizontal long stitches, but many of our silken long stitch designs do use vertical stitches. We're going to work the speckles on the seagull's wing first and then fill in the background colour. The horizontal stitches are worked in a circular motion so that you have long stitches on the back as well as the front. To move on to the next speckle, simply trail the thread on the back. After working all of the speckles, I'm now going to fill in the wing. Where the stitching meets previously worked areas, I need to use the same hole. So one hole will be used by both colours. I can now fill in around the speckles, varying the length of my stitches accordingly. As you move down, make sure that you are coming up in the adjacent row. Throughout, I make sure not to pull too tightly, as this would risk distorting the canvas. So, we hope that you're now longing to try long stitch. Whether it's silken or woolen, why not give it a go? Happy stitching! If you have any questions, please get in touch. You can give us a ring or send us an email. We also have a very friendly Facebook group where you can share your stitching stories.